hobbling Hillary goes on stage on her birthday, accidentally let her nasty secret slip, now she's going away. Old hobbly wobbly Hillary Clinton dragged her feet across the sidewalk when she exited Chelsea Clinton's home in New York. This was the scene on Hillary's 70th birthday just before she took the stage to accept a Wonder Woman award at an event filled with celebrities. That's also where she accidentally leaked her secret like a rotten NY sewer. People likely noticed, but were too nice to say anything about it. Let's go back in time a little bit where Hillary took a tumble in London and broke a toe. That's the reason she's wearing a boot and using arm braces. Fly back to current times and picture Hillary Clinton on stage accepting an award, right after hobbling out of her daughter's house like she's a gimp, and all of a sudden there it is. She didn't have to say anything because her body language spoke everything we needed to hear and see. Hillary ditched her supportive arm braces that she's been using to walk. She magically seemed fine when she was accepting her award, so what does that lead some people to believe? One moment she's walking like she has 10 broken toes, but the next moment, on the same day, she seems totally fine. And let's remember she's 70 years old. A young athlete might be able to walk on a boot foot no problem, but some people in their 70s have trouble walking without help. Now imagine she's lurching around in a moon boot one minute, but fine the next. Kinda weird, right? Is she milking this injury for sympathy? Is she trying to sell books? Is she trying to get people on her side and ignore the uranium being sold to Russia story? What's the catch? Via Daily Mail Hillary Clinton hobbled across the sidewalk on crutches as she left daughter Chelsea's New York home on her 70th birthday. But she then ditched them to pick up her Wonder Woman award at a star-studded ceremony on Thursday night. Hillary, who suffered a broken toe after a fall in London earlier this month, made the superhero-like transformation as day turned to night. She managed to look radiant in red in photos obtained by DailyMail.com, as she headed out of Chelsea's apartment before turning up crutchless to accept the accolade. The ex-Democratic presidential hopeful also managed a smile on the day she learned her campaign and the DNC were accused of hiding the fact that they commissioned a dossier on Donald Trump. She looked about as radiant as a sack of uranium being packaged nicely for Russia in the midst of her receiving a hefty donation to the Clinton Foundation, but that's neither here nor there. The bigger picture, in this particular article, is wondering if she's just milking her fans for sympathetic book sales or some other odd reason. Perhaps she's trying to look a certain way so people back off on the Russia's stories and dossiers. I don't pay much attention to the stories with her, Trump and Russia because none of it matters because Trump is president and nothing changes the fact that Trump became president fair and square in the election of 2016. She can win as many awards as she likes, but nothing changes the fact that she's not the president. During the ceremony she was serenaded with Happy Birthday led by Jane Fonda as the crowd joined in. She accepted the first ever award of its kind by the Women's Media Center, the Daily Mail went on first ever award of its kind? Is this another made-up award like the ones Hollywood celebrities give to themselves to try and milk money from television viewers by acting like those awards are actually something important? Hillary appeared in good spirits along with other honorees, which included Ashley Judd. The actress appeared for the first time since being one of the main catalysts in the enormous Harvey Weinstein sexual assault and harassment scandal, the Daily Mail further reported. Is this the same Ashley Judd who may have claimed she was assaulted by Harvey Weinstein, but then shows up supporting Hillary, whose husband used an intern as a humidor? The same Ashley Judd who attends women's marches where grown-ups are dressed as unkempt female genitalia? Tell me how many millions Ashley would have in the bank if she opened her mouth about Harvey Weinstein years ago. Probably zero, so these women kept quiet so they could become stars. Sleep with the boss, get the raise. These women knew darn well what they were doing. Hillary stated via the Daily Mail. During her awards acceptance speech, the 70-year-old highlighted the women's equality. Last year when I was pursuing the presidency, I ran into people both men and women who thought sexism and the struggle for women's equality was so over, a thing of the past, ancient history, Clinton said according to Bustle. Well what a difference a year makes. 
those people Hillary claimed to run into were right. Women have had equal rights for as long as I can remember. There is no difference in rights between men and women in America. We all have the same rights. We might have some sexist people in the world, but that goes both ways. When it comes to pure rights for men and women in America, we're essentially equal. However, it seems like women have the upper hand in terms of divorce settlements. Even when they're in the wrong, the guy usually gets screwed. I'd like to think women have more rights than men in many aspects, but that's another story for another day. Keep an eye on your favorite two-time repeat defending champion at losing elections and let's see what she does next. Fun fact, Hillary lost as many presidential elections as America won world wars. World wars.